Welcome to Accidental Discharge. For it to be carried without 600, even at dollar at 500. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, one like um, one Call of Duty group or something, FIFA Call of Duty. Mm. So one guy came out and I think he put it up for like $900, which is even still fair based on, I think that results to 350 or so, but the way people were attacking him, like, thief. Something yeah, that's, that is something that's not that expensive. You're trying to just get a buck, you know. I know that's the thing with. But then it's opportunity now. You take what you see in the end of the day. It is. Somebody is no. Me, maga, I, maga pay, maga pay. So me, I don't even have a problem with the people selling it at that price. It's your choice. It's, it's capital is come economy that you can do as you like. But you, it depends on buying it. I'm like, and because that's the thing, you're only buying it because you want to be. I'm all like, not really that you want to be a, you want that no no okay there are those that want it so that they can flaunt with it mm-hmm. that yes i have it but there are those that just new 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 edition stuff they get it yeah it's no, just but, like how some but people they'll wait have now, but you can wait you can wait till it now it's more some of the them can't wait they feel like yeah, that's, 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 yeah. that's not waiting it because you want to say ah, when you had it first i got i had it yeah Still have another seven, ten years of this console. Ten years, you know. So you can chill, chill yeah. nicely. Let the, let the mm-hmm. slim or the short or the, slim or the short. whatever. And it's not as if the PS4 <laughs> doesn't still operate. Oh. It's, it's still fantastic. In fact, the games they're releasing for the PS5, mm-hmm. they're also releasing for the PS4 and the Xbox, the older the Xbox. Older, yeah. yeah. They would now, for now, anyways. They would. Because they still need to sell now. How many people have the, have the uh, new ones already? Uh, yeah. Speaking of playing games, though, did you see Burner's? Quit baby? playing games with my. Yeah, did you, sorry. Did you see Burner's um, babe? I with the main baby body. I thought I, 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 I saw her. My yeah. guy stuttering. You saw her. I saw her. Yeah. How do you think? I think she looks okay. She's nice. Like a pearl. A bit sick, sick. I don't know about a pearl, but mm. yeah. She's lying. Oyster. An oyster, huh? Lying. No, see this. I mean, she's big, right? She's I mean, not big. Like, okay, sorry, she's 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 lower body big, right? So it's not just like her ass is big. Her ass is huge, but like she also has like huge thighs. Okay. And like huge calves. No, no, she's hot. Don't get me wrong. I'm you just need, saying like she's not. You need foundation to support the building. Yes. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. I mean, I I don't don't worry. I get what the attraction was. Oh, you you do? Yeah, the ass, isn't it? The ass, right? Yeah. That's pretty it. Mm. But I, mean, I hope they have like a real, you know, wholesome relationship. Like there's a connection. I don't. Well, I hope that, oh, oh, that's what keeps. <laughs> yeah. I hope oh, like they, yeah. I hope like they. I mean, I hope it's not just that he's there because of her body, right? Yeah. No, I mean, who's ever there because of the body? All men, we're all here for the mind. Especially Nigerian men, <laughs> fully for the mind. Yes, Nigerian men are that's always for the mind. mind. I don't think I've met a Nigerian man that's about body. Ever, ever. Mm. Okay. So yeah. So. If that's the case, then that's... I mean, it's not fine that he was cheating on his girlfriend, but like... Yeah. Because yeah. cheating is not right. Burner Boy is not giving Nigerian men a bad name because Nigerian men do that's cheat. That's not true. There, there's no evidence. There's no evidence that Burner Boy was cheating. Oh, she just released yeah. a video. She yeah. just released yeah, a video. Right, a claim. She could have been lying. She could have been lying. She could have that Burner Boy was in them cheeks. Do you think she was lying? That Burner Boy cheeks? was in them cheeks? <laughs> no. <laughs> do you, do you think Burner Boy was cheating with Pearl on Steph? <laughs> you see, this is out of our That is the question. That's yeah, no, what do you think? I know, I know, do I'm, I'm, not think, I'm not asking to make a judgment. No, I think he dropped, I think if anything, I think he dropped a very good album. But I don't know about anything else. <laughs> <laughs> That's within our jurisdiction. That's, uh, he dropped a very That's good album. You know? Bebo dropped it. Wow. He dropped that. Yeah. Okay. 23. Are you guys that I heard she's 23 too. My G. So he was feeling like Jordan. But you know. It's so didn't uh, happen. She was twenty one. Um, I guess so. Yeah. Allegedly. So right. Yeah. yeah. But you know. So she, you guys, you guys like afraid to call out boy now. No, not afraid oh, to call out. Okay. Call, can't be afraid to call out boy now. Okay. That's, that's he had two burners. If you really think about it. <laughs> yeah, two burners. I called it backlash and clap back because all of them got back, but it's all good. <laughs> Oh, you know, it's, it's, I think it's important though. Like, 
you know you can't be dropping so many hits and not hitting it's just i saw just, i saw he posted a picture today like being like dressed up and not getting they go they then get in get they go they pull it it doesn't even care what you guys are saying. I couldn't care. That's, that's why I told you it's called. I don't care what you guys are saying. Like. Just slide and glide. That's that's probably the best way. And look, our attention span is already done and we've moved on to the next thing. We'll always move on to the next thing. How did anyone find out about it? I think I saw someone. Just, she came. The no, I, I didn't see the video. Yeah. So, like, someone, I, I think someone told me. I was like, what? Burner boy? I'm like, okay. But the girl came out with a whole like 15 minute explanation. Yeah, like two videos in, in IG. I right? woke up the next morning and the only thing on my timeline was um, Babe, Fat Ass, Burner, Chief, Steph. <laughs> That's, those were the only <laughs> things mm. I was saying. Why are people bashing him? some algorithm right there. That, that's that's yeah, just yeah, really, was on my timeline. Really, your mm. algorithm is something. Oh, but, aso, a, well, aso That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. Judging but, the black guy. But what, racism. What, what, what mm-hmm. people, what people bashing him? Half and half. Half and half? Mm. You know... I think we're getting to the point where bashing is almost getting tired and like, oh, it's okay. Mm. But the same, it's always going to be the same think, thing. No one should cheat. All the time. Because of <laughs> our relationship with Burner, especially on Twitter. Yeah. Our relationship with Burner on Twitter is very... Eh, you can bash him all you want. Mm-hmm. He'll come out next month and drop two lines of insult, and everybody will be mad. Mm-hmm. But then oh, shit, you realize that yeah, this guy really doesn't send our opinion like that. The opinion is not even going anywhere. We're just talking for ourselves in the end of the day. So, all you do is you make noise. You. So basically, so basically, Burner, Burner Boy is the Nigerian. And then you release album, mm-hmm. and then we'll say Grammys. <laughs> but really, what is an Africa giant without two big body bands? You can't you can't really can't really maneuver without that one more back, you know? Sorry, this sugar cane juice is really nice. Where is it from? From the restaurant. What's the name of the restaurant? Yenhen's restaurant. Yen Hen. Yeah, it's definitely from Plateau. Wow. That's nice. Damn, wow. that's, yeah. that's 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 <laughs> you guys is that discriminatory? Yeah, reach yeah, out it to is, it is tired reach out to Yen <laughs> Say it again. Yen Hen. Yeah, they have a place in Abuja, you don't have to go to Plateau. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that should be the slogan from Plateau to you. <laughs> oh exactly. Catchy. Yeah. Catchy. From Plateau yeah. to you. Don't steal it, anyone that's listening, because you know people are bad on the internet. <laughs> oh, which, right? Yeah. What's up with this NSAR second wave? Well, you heard that women in Lagos are protesting. I also heard that the, the the police put a petition to the court to question the jurisdiction of governor to set up panels. Then I heard that they they've tried to withdraw it the because, IG, you know, the stupidity. IG, IG just woke up and I was like, what's going on? What's going on? There's fire on the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> there has been fire. But this, what but, is this but fresh, fresh new fire? fire? Yeah, but like, what I mean, is this fresh why, new why, fire? Like, I was just breezing through. I'm like, they're trying to cancel the panels that just were created just for this reason. You know, not you know, more than three months to the, uh, to the anything. Not even oh, more than two I, months. My G, there was there's so much going on with it when i saw that thing i was like wow so first of all they brought out the panels yeah. to say the protesters should calm down go through the panel mm. get your redress through the panel and everybody after getting shot was like i right, cool let's go through the panels and see what they're saying we don't believe you but we take Allegedly, exactly like a step and honestly if you go through oh what's like this editor, a young guy, he's been going to the panel almost every day, mm-hmm. dropping the shout team, out to DT mm-hmm. and shout out to DT. Yeah, as, and also like on this, like calling everyone out. As in, guy, yeah, that guy, Do you lots of information. First Stop time that guy on. stumbled, in, uh, he stumbled on my TL. I think he was doing a crazy suit that was ridiculous, but now it seems like he has nice. entered the right side of things. I don't yes. know, like you know how some suits, he, he there was something he wanted to take to court, and I think everybody was like, what the hell. But now, like obviously, it's like okay. It seems like you're more. Nah, he's 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 our beacon for the panel because a lot of that guy has been steadfast in going for that stuff. Mm-hmm. So and then other states as well. I heard it's one of the, I heard some of it has resulted in 
the um, warrant or arrest for one so particular of, one one yeah. particular one yeah. woman. Yeah, I think it's yeah. mother too. So that's good. So, mm-hmm. and then we wake up one morning and we're hearing the police is challenging. First of all, shout out Governor Wiki for saying such a thing was possible. That the police will that you can't petition a federal body mm-hmm. via states. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but. I read on the I read somewhere that somebody said it's a gray area where because it's the presidency that put, that it, so put I, out the it's actually the federal government that put out the uh appointment. platform yeah. for the mm. judicial panel. Okay. So that would do that produce, now it yeah. empowers them to be able to call up the ones. So. I think I think I think they are able to but what I think that they can't take action and like they also can't force anyone to okay, but what's the police to, service commission doing we've been calling the ig 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 police service commission are the people who should be on fire well we has anyone petitioned them you know you have to if so from what i understand from a couple of conversations i've heard online uh, you would have to write a petition to the police service commission reporting these issues about mm. the police but then they, then they now have to deal with it in the, exactly all in all it's but just I don't crazy know. idea that they were mm. trying to disband the, the panel. panel that yeah. is just crazy uh, my fear is but at least they didn't they didn't roll up in guns and be like shut this shit down <laughs> <Shut> this shit. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. went to the court i mean i'm sure it was, i'm sure it was discussed <laughs> yeah, sure, but sure, that cross yeah, was an option that was my yeah, yeah. option let's just shoot the whole place up right they would leave do you see that Senator Dildo has slapped somebody Senator else? Senator Dildo slapped somebody again. But I think Senator he almost got his ass whooped because when I saw the video It looked like they were around him, surrounding him. It's like the guy who got slapped was going to slap him back. I was praying to judge Jehovah that he was going to smack the Jerry Curls of that idiot. That guy is tiny. Why does he go around slapping people? Because he, he has, has security. security. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's that's, that's ridiculous. It's crazy, like, they just use this, they are small powers to oppress. You know, what we're talking about, how empowering some people, they just get funny. So you just empower someone to just be a representative of your con- of your state and, you and, and your constituency, people. and they just go about generally terrorizing everybody else as well. Not just you, everybody else. See that, and and that's, that, that's part of the problem. Like, in, in other countries, like you have, like, the senators and the reps, like, they still... I don't know about senators per se, but I think reps especially like they still like stay in their constituency. That's mm-hmm. where you live. You don't mm-hmm. move to the capital yeah. and be. I saw one guy that said that he stays when, in. When you are actually, actually, actually when you are not you're speaking sitting. about reps and senators. Yeah. What's that governor that Your said that he's state governor? He said he stays in. He, oh, that, he comes. He leaves Abuja or yeah, he comes to his states for like three to four days. Yeah. He said. Yeah, because how they say. In a month, he hasn't come to the state three to four times. How they say that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like like it's impossible. Yeah, that I mean, these uh, modern times. I mean, it's, it's not it's, like the the rack up files that like mm-hmm. they are waiting for him. Yeah. This guy, they can bring the files to him wherever yeah. he's at. Yes, yeah, uh, scan it. This man's state. It's yeah. under fire from yeah. Boko Haram. Yeah, but that's why, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, it's stupid. It's stupid, it's but you stupid, understand but... why, right? He doesn't want to die. He doesn't want to be attacked his convoy like three or four times. Like, no, that that's the that's the Borno state. Okay, that's Borno. Okay. I'm not sure they've attacked him. Yeah, because okay, he's not there. Attacked. But so that's the whole point. It's like I see what's going on. Like, I'm just gonna I'm stay, just like, step out. Like, you guys <laughs> understand. But no, they've attacked Bernard State Governor quite a bit, haven't they? A they, lot. Oh my god. That, that guy, guy has been shut up. A lot. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> a lot. There was a day he got shut up going somewhere and he just regrouped and went back. And he got shut up on the way back. I'm like, who is this guy? <laughs> He got shot up on the way back. Oh as well. my God! Did he, nah, I, don't I don't know if he got shot okay. up on the way back. I know that would be he regrouped and crazy. went there that same day. Like oh, he went there to. So he continued his journey. He continued his journey. He was like, yeah, 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 we've been shot up. Yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> That's quite sad. So I kind of um, you kind of understand that guy I now. No, not the other guy. Okay. But I kind of now <laughs> understand the because I was really angry about the I think the forty three farmers or so that happened. 
the ones that you see that, 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 that that situation which means because if the governor is getting attacked that much that means insecurity is oh, at oh, oh, all time oh, huh? oh yeah but not the really not a state in nigeria anymore um, oh, what it you know last year last year was they said the deadliest um year for yeah. even like our military yeah that's why they now did it, that yeah. super camp thing mm. where instead of going to look for they, they'll put some terrorists there. no they just basically and made a base it. camp and they just made a fortress and the military is just there so yeah. instead of going so whoever of going, is, is yeah whoever has to come yeah and recon from there. any position but then doing that now left the people mm-hmm. and as yeah. cannon fodder and but they said the guys who came and killed the uh, farmers and stuff 43 but the numbers are going as high Seems as like 110 yeah. yeah i think i saw 100 because they said a lot of people are still missing yeah they said they came on foot you know um the boko haram is every, every well the re- rest of the country just calls it boko haram but if you go into the detail mm. there's so much going on in the northeast isis is there right now they're ice swap yeah that's basically like franchise like mm. burger king yeah just carry that one they've got ice swap different from boko haram even the boko haram i think the one that shekau himself is leading is mm. called jas Shit. so just different so fragments ones, of different them. fragments so these ones they basically came on foot mm. they just came on foot with guns and they were like yo 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 human beings cause right. the death of one of that's our commanders the blah the blah the human beings. yeah because that's that's why it's it's but a it's lot madness, going no, on and, and these people die and you know we you move have on lie mohammed come on and tell me we move oh, on well, what is the nonsense he said he said they didn't have they didn't have the authority they were not authorized to, to return to, to, return the, farm. to the farm no that was that was garuba show sorry garuba <coughs> show my my yeah, lie, lie, uh, lie, lie, I'm lie, so sorry. Close. Lie is yeah, close. So sorry. Not far off. He's, he's not far off. He's something <laughs> he, he can say. It's like definitely, but you know, let me not. Let mm, me not. But that was. Okay. Like, well, how do you come he and said he that? came back to say, um, the context. It was taken out of context with what he said. Mm. But you can see why people are angry. Obviously. He said the context was uh, the military usually uh, gives. Uh, support to these farmers mm. which I don't I don't know we don't know we don't know how true it is but now on this matter no clearance was made but in order for them matter, to, uh, to to be so actually went able. back and then <clears throat> come on man. no but I've, you can so, see that so, so I get that but like you're talking about in really unprecedented times right people are suffering no food these people no actually work. took the job the, this farming job that they came from other states. They said some people came from as far as Sokoto. Some people were IDPs. They came and took the job just to get something to put in hand. And if you think about it, this is economic <coughs> warfare. Mm-hmm. Nigeria is. is going through a recession. Yes. And then this, this year, people are remembering the jokes are coming out, onions are expensive. It's because it's for a reason. People haven't been able to go to farms. The few who went to farms are being kidnapped. The few who actually got farming done mm-hmm. have to pay taxes to these bandits. Bandits to be able to move around. Yeah, and down. they give you a time period. They give you one to three weeks, come up with the money, or they'll burn down your farm. And then there was massive flooding as well in the north this mm-hmm. year. So all in all, we're facing a food crisis during a recession. And... Our uh, resident terrorists decide, yeah, economic warfare is. You yeah, well, they always say hit them where the money is. Yeah. If you hit them where the money is, then everything else is just bound to collapse. And we're dealing with um, everybody. People who are well insulated and can import their food if need be. Uh-huh. So the rest of the country can generally. Um, kick rocks! Itself. Kick rocks! Kick rocks! Kick rocks! But everybody should tie their trousers. I generally won't be funny. Yeah, like I'm seeing, there's there there are two mindsets I'm seeing on the internet. One, 
promoting the dirty December movement and enjoying yourself and all that. And then there's yeah, the other one telling you to save your damn this money. Life, I can't keep myself. <laughs> there's the other one that's telling you to save your money and just be strong and smart because the next couple of years and the year to come might not be necessarily the the co- the cooking nanny of things. <laughs> Hashtag kill yourself. Ah, wow. If the other ones cannot kill themselves, you know, they have to enjoy. This one's kill yourself in December. <laughs> enjoy January. You uh, know, it is what it is, man. It's unfortunate. People just, just live. So they just have to survive in time. We adapt. We're human beings. Did What's you see that Nigeria is not um, Nigeria is not interested in accepting the method or thought of practice that cannabis is a medicine? We're one of 25 countries to mm. not Chicken want, speak, right? to, yes, to be against the idea that cannabis are. is... Yeah, Always cannabis. backward. It's the UN who... The UN did a vote. The UN came out to and say... It was 27 to 25. Apparently, Russia has also of the idea that we sh- they should, um, cannabis shouldn't be seen as a medicine. No, uh, no not seen as... To declassify... To declassify it as a lesser drug. Yeah, to declassify it as a lesser but drug. That also, but also to... Yeah, make no, it so I don't, I didn't really. I mean, initially, when I saw the story, I didn't really read it, but I reposted it to my story and I got flagged by Instagram. And I was like, You said your post is has been verified to contain information that is not true. I was like, oh, What post? I started looking through all my posts, and I'm like, Okay, this looks like a story, so I had now like read up on it. So, like, no, so they didn't say it can be used as medicine, they just said that to reduce the classification in terms of it being a hard drug exactly yeah, mm. yeah. well you know well but, you know, i keep telling you guys but don't worry, don't she a she a years, man. She a yeah so he yeah, he even went governor. to he went to what was it, malaysia or already gearing up to farm the thing oh, to yeah? farm marijuana yeah he's been on it for like two years yeah i mean no more than two years almost since he came he, he won the election the first time so yeah, he's been of the belief that if he's of the are, belief, is he of the tribe? Of the he's experience? of the belief that we can. And I think farm because it and sell it. Yes, and sell that's it. exactly the and point. And what? I'm sure our soils. But would probably I think they're, they're, yeah, they are they are soil they are soil in Ondo apparently is very sexualized. For it's very high. It's uh, it's this our ability to swing left, swing to real, real left, real quick. That doesn't make sense. We tend to. Nigeria on paper is a secular country mm-hmm. on paper. But then in the north, we have Hizba saying people can't even make Black Friday sales because you can't even use the, they can't use the word Black Friday, Black Friday yeah. mm. because it's, it's bad. The, the yeah. radio station, the exactly. Harassing, picking up people. And then right now I can see Amotekun or whatever they call them. Yeah. yeah in the southwest that was designed for security yes came out day before yesterday or yesterday or whenever and came out and said they are going to be policing dressing and improper use of the yoruba language i'm like what does that mean what's that even about yeah why is it the first thing that oh sorry what is improper usage of yoruba language um, nobody knows what that means they shall use the they shall decided that's what they were going to say it's i about. love it I love the, I love the creativity behind why is it the want, first thing people how, think how you want power how you want to uh, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah how you want to oppress but like something just done today like what can we come what up to do like, come up like ah, improper usage of, of the, the language. language yeah but do you know how broad that's of course phrases. yeah it can mean so many improper different phrase. so imagine it can be like you don't know how to speak your mind while you say something the wrong way it could be your dad, like it could be, it could be anything. Imagine, imagine music. Yeah. And they go and they say. Yeah, why should you sing? Why should you, you, you sing? Oh, it's crazy. Slightly yeah. ridiculous. Hello. Hey, Jesus. You know, it has, that's crazy, like improper usage of the Yoruba language. Man. 
so I want to leave this country, man. I keep telling you, bro. I don't believe you want to leave the country. Give me a phone. Give me a phone. Friend, my, friend, my friend said he wants to go and do his wedding in Papua New Guinea. I'm thinking of, I'll use the opportunity. Papua New Guinea? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the, although the rate of violence is, of crime is really high there. Like, I didn't, okay, I've probably never said this. Though, like, until the period last year, I was really thinking about moving to an island. And I got calls twice from Papua New Guinea. And I'm like, ha, oh, this must be a sign. So I read up on it. And like, the crime rate is really high. But like, hey. Could it be worse than of could course. it be could it be worse than when they are arresting you for improper use of of, <laughs> of your own language? I, think, I don't I, I don't think, think so. I think it could be worse. You think? Because you're not a you don't even know what's going on. Yeah, there. So anyway, you're walking. You anyway, you're walking. You're just, just be, you just be you just be dodging. I was telling someone that please just transport me to like Mauritius or Bahamas. Like I'll just yeah, I'll just not come back. Like I'm sure they'll be happy. What to Seychelles? Be a bartender for a couple of years, a little Uber or something, yeah. porn star. I didn't think it would. Wow. These these are uh, these sound very much like things you can do, <laughs> very much in your I mean, in I could, in your I talent could, range. I could never very, very much in your talent never range. It's not like be a barman. Uh, uh, okay, I could never, yeah, like I could never be a barman. See the one he left out. See, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's it's unfortunate. You can't even grow a porn stash, but here we are. You can never be a barman. I Why could not? never be a barman. You just it's seems like a lot of drinks. work. It is a lot of work. No, I I can make drink like for f- I don't make like at the duty now become the problem, you know like I can make drinks for fun. You can make drink mix nice and like you come and tell you that. Ugh, <sighs> that's now measure. Hey, you have to actually now measure everything because you can't just pour the bath drink away now. Yeah. They come and ask you how how did this ah. drink finish? Are you not measuring? You have to take. So, so just like you know. Work. I don't know, man. I might go to Papua New Guinea. Who knows? No, Alana. Maybe from there I'll find a way to so another some other island. Let's start somewhere. You want to put a crossover to Spain? <laughs> start from like Sudan or something, and if I do in Morocco, next day they are swimming Swim. across the ocean. Swim I'm over. like, how do you get to a point of swimming? Like at the point where you say, Desperation. no. Desperation. I get it, but why, why not just live yeah, in people. Morocco? Are you okay? What? Yeah. Like, oh, I thought you were talking to one behind no, I'm me. I'm asking you. Why? Why? You think they should just stay in the trap? I don't know, man. Just, just, you know just, how bad it is in some places. Well, bro, it's like being in, like I can, people that are in Libya, they, from, they will. I can. Michael you know, yes, Libya. Actually, sorry, you know, no, yes. I can assure you that if I go to Morocco and the option was now swim to Spain, yeah, I'm going to stay in Morocco. That's if you can't swim to Spain. You don't it know was, what's happening. Even there. if I can, right? You what are you talking about? Do you you know get a life jacket now. Do they you just yeah, like they, they have life jackets? You give them get, life jackets. No, you get oh, life jackets they and then you be in water and then hopefully okay. you get picked up by like boats from my side. Um, yeah, from the European from, side. Yeah, from the European that side. will send you back. No, no, okay, no, no, okay, no, okay, no, okay, no, okay. pick you up okay. from the European they side. Do, yeah. They might take you to Europe. <laughs> They'll put you in their refugee camp and then from there get your information and details. So what you will have to do is basically like no, 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 no. What you would you what you would have to do? Because I would stay in Morocco. That's what I'm saying. What okay. you would have to do is uh, who? No, 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 no. I, me, I would stay in Morocco. <laughs> what someone would have to? Oh, do okay. Is, <laughs> you would probably have to get your details yes. and then wrap it in almost like a tin foil or like a paper so, so that what your information can be, be passed intact. on to them. Yeah. So That's you won't be trying to prove to yourself. Yeah. You see, like, it really sounds like someone's stress. I'll just stay in Morocco. Well, I mean, if the bullets are flying, <laughs> imagine. You know. <laughs> nah. I don't think so. I don't, where, where the bullets come into this convo? Huh? Oh, in Morocco? Oh, you think it? it in Morocco think, or where? It's all or in the water? Games. No, no. I'm wondering where the bullets come into. In, Guy, for, they first don't of have all, pirate ships that they will be attacking you on the boat. In the what? That's why I'm yeah. not going to enter the water. Like, what, like once the water comes into the question, no. Yeah, do you know what I can do? You know, I've always just looked at water I can and do? just thought, God damn, it's such a helpless situation. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. exactly. It's You're like, it's like, like no, situation. this You're is the end. Me. Like, what? Like, I can There's try. nothing. If a tsunami is coming. I can try and, so, I can like, try and sneak just into just a cargo plane or something or even a regular plane, enter the, the what do you call it, the holding. Like, all of that is even like, make more water. No. Anything that does not that not secure underwater, no. But ground so just not secure when bullets are flying. Uh, but at it, least there's more security. It, you can feel there's, like there's this dude that was on a rig, and it sunk, and he was underwater for twelve days. I don't know. The guy had, that was in the submarine, right? The Nigerian it had, guy. Yeah, it had <coughs> air pockets. Oh, okay. So he couldn't come out because it was dark. He didn't know which way it was up and down. Fantastic. He was just in the air pocket for twelve days inside oh. water. 
Did he eventually die? No, no, no they found him. They found him. Oh, they found his ass. Him. Because um, it was an abandoned ship situation, but he mm. didn't leave. Apparently, some. So but I think there. he had some important artifacts there that basically, <laughs> if he left the ship, it would have just been. Would have no, been that's deep. Like Twelve yeah. days. Twelve days from now. That guy really had because, like, no. If he, you think about it, he had water to drink, so he was really. He can't fine. drink that water. That's salty water. Yeah. Salty water. And he's <laughs> not eating for twelve days. And he just stayed I'm sure there would have been some child just before. In the air pocket. <laughs> yes. Or was he dipping out and coming back? Bro, you would have probably just carried some. No, I would have died, Raj. I don't how know. Much, how long I don't know how you guys how long can someone go go on without without food? Without food. This is no, our food is like three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. So all he just needed was water. I'm sure there was a yeah, I'm sure he, somewhere. He, because water, I think you can't do a week without drinking water. Yeah, you can't do without oh drinking water. Shit. And I think sleeping... I can't yeah. even last that week. Let me tell you the biggest problem with that too. Is because there's no... You're watching so Accidental you Discharge. So just imagine... I, so I've done, what, what are your options? Oh, no, you no, drown. Drown. Yeah, that's it. Do you think it's that easy? You're so finalist. I'm showing you <laughs> that I will make a go to swim and I will drown. And because I cannot swim that far. So you have... Miss you have Miss no- an air pocket, sure air pocket. Okay. Or darkness. Yes, I'll take the darkness. How do you know you're going to drown? You might come up with King Shark or something. And, and- no, death is going to happen in the first three days, Max. Because, because, because no, because one thing you're saying eh, after twelve days, after fifty days. Someone may still not find you, may still end up dying. So why would I suffer all that time? Ah, hunger. But he stayed 12 days and was found. I'm so happy for him, really. I'm really actually very happy for that guy, but if that guy cannot be me. That's just So you two have stayed in that pocket for 12 days. Ah, well. Would you have? No answer, no, would you have? Would you have stayed for 12 days? I'm sure not. You might not have a choice at the end of the day. Would you have stayed 15 days? If the ship is already sinking, you might not know. You, you just go to your to the safest thing. You might not try and commit suicide because God knows that. See, I'm sure he probably strange. gave up, and then it was just there, yeah, and exactly. they gave up. They gave up. But that's worked for him. Air pocket for twelve days. He didn't finish the oxygen in there. It was. Clearly not. It was. It was big. It was like mm-hmm. huge. By then they even found him. The water was just at his. Yeah. So he was. He had enough oxygen anyway. Interesting. Mm. I mean, also, I guess, I guess, also the what's the, really funny is that while you're still there, you're still fighting. So, oh God, right. <laughs> I would, I would, I would like to say the, <laughs> the comfort level of the place and access to other things may matter. So, like, when you there'll be, there'll be there'll no be access to anything. Child. No, so it's no, I'm just there. And, yeah, that's. But they were still goods there. Apparently. So okay, be in that air pocket. Yeah. Or what's the name of that movie? Twenty Seven Days. Where that guy had had the rock stuck on his hand. That's and 127 had, hours. Yeah, 120, and he had to chop it off. What? With the yeah. With a blunt knife or something. Yeah. He had to chop off his hand and climbed out of the. Yeah. yeah. He had. Yeah. It was a movie. It even made a movie by James Franco. It was. Okay. Okay, okay, a rock had like crushed his hand. Yes. yes. And he was stuck on there. Was no help. Ah, so he had to. Yeah, no, I cut off my hand. Yeah. You'd rather yeah, be in the Rockies alone. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Because like that, that one, like I still feel like the, first of all, the rock that has crushed his hand, he probably also isn't feeling that pain anymore. But like, yeah, of course, oh, he felt it. Felt yeah, it. yeah, whatever. He felt the fuck up. But I think my, I mean, I don't think my pain threshold is that high that I won't feel it. But I'm, I'm comfortable with pain. But I definitely cut off my hand. I'd rather be in that situation. Yeah, hundred percent. Fair enough. Yeah. What do you take first, cocaine or travel? Can I mix it? I think if you mix cocaine and chamadol, the, que- the, que- the question, the question, the question is where would I find it? Right. Uh, well, uh, are you so really after, asking? After, after no, after I've cut off the hand, like oh, okay. I, I mean, where do I like, find this cocaine and chamadol? Yeah, I'll yeah. probably take chamadol. I heard chamadol is actually a big problem in Nigeria. Yeah, apparently. Like was, Codeine, people just no, Codeine is, is different. It's like Codeine is like a, it's not different. It's it's same same, same boats. Yeah, but like same. Codeine holds a whole like region. <laughs> so is tramadol. 
Yeah? People doing, also, no? people doing coding and the ones doing travel now. Same, same, same people. Also, it's back to back. Mm. Same back to back. I remember, I remember the first time someone found out I, I, I used Tramadol and they were so panicked. They were like, oh, and you go around with me over the police. Bro. I'm like, but it's... You use Tramadol for what? For my knees. I have osteoarthritis. Okay. Okay. So, so they're like, I'm like, so what do you want me to do now? I should not, I should not use my medicine because other people are abusing it. Sometimes I have to carry my prescription with me. Just like, hey, police told me, I'll be like, so, you know, the police even really know about Tramadol. Uh, police. Yes. They do? Police. Police know anything that they can use to extort you. Just your anything that you think or that themselves. Oh, oh, themselves. anything that you so. think that they, that people took as bad, police know about it. I went for my morning run and the there was a police car just parked under a tree, and I was just running. I was like, "That's Igbo," <laughs> <laughs> and I looked and I just saw the guy just hit the one two, just looked at me. And it was kind of awkward, mm. so I didn't stop. I just waved, and they were like, "Hey!" Speaking like, of it, but did you see the police officer that was drunk? That they took a gun from him. <sighs> he was in Abuja now. I'm glad. Apparently, he was drunk, like really drunk, like that's not shocking. Barely, con- barely conscious, just, and then he had his gun. Apparently, he was aiming it at people and shit. And somebody took it from him. They took it from him and sat him down. That's how in earth, like intoxicated he was. He was not even like. So Functioning, much. basically. God, apples. But fuck the police. Um, I guess. Fuck a Is that the other name? Yeah. Yoruba name. Damn. Man, <laughs> y'all should be easy, Sha. This December period. I say how no. Boy, there's a lot going on this oh, you yeah. might not have heard we're actually in a recession okay they're stealing people's cars yeah, they're stealing there's stealing a lot of theft yeah. going on people's what cars cars I heard so some car yesterday. in the middle of the jail there yeah there's a lot of theft going on in lagos but that one is regular hold up people will just roll up on you oh boy tickets in are the hold for up. 90k flight tickets, flight tickets yeah. Yeah. not only to lagos though uh, my friend was going from Lagos to Kano. Oh. Same thing. And I heard it's almost a million dollars now to fly to the US. Millionaire. Millionaire. Sorry, I'm speaking in dollars. You should be speaking I in dollars. I want to live in dollars. What are they dollars? going to look for there? America has a better life. to go into a better life. another lockdown. Yeah, but, yeah, but I mean, it's not the time. Like, I don't feel when I run from there. Like, <laughs> You have to get paranoid. No, yeah, it was on everyone has their own situation. Yeah, I don't cut COVID, though, but <laughs> the fear. Say, let him just come back to Nigeria. <laughs> no, what? There's COVID in Nigeria too now. We just don't be giving plenty fucks. Man, do you know a lot of people have fallen? Yeah. Even in the past three weeks. Like, even died. Died. Okay. Yeah. So, you see yeah, that Lagos? I'm you see that, that Lagos? I feel like the. I feel like the COVID effect here is different. It's not like that one where people just all of a sudden one day just really like just not feel well. Next day, not feel very said well. She went for a I'm wedding. Gone. Went for a wedding, the tried wedding, mm. and you only got to find out later that when they got back to Lagos for the white wedding, the bride's sister passed sure. the morning of the wedding. She had underlying conditions though. I think she yeah. had leukemia and some stuff. And then he didn't hear from the couple. The whole group chat was quiet. And then like three weeks later, the groom was posted on his status. I beat COVID. I was like, bitch. <laughs> we were all dancing and shaking like, you. Hugging you. Yeah, I think all the more, lots of people, I've, I've seen more people coming out that say, oh, I had it at some point. It's the me too season. Having it, uh, I guess. <laughs> it's the me too. me too. COVID me too. Oh yeah, me too. I had it. It's nothing. I guess we just had it there. Ah, for like three days. I couldn't smell and I couldn't taste shit. Mm. And you're like, okay. So did you run tests? We're like, ah yeah, I just swallowed malaria medication. I'm like, why? So now why? Yeah, but well, it seems to have worked for them. But at the end of the day, I... would you take the vaccine? 
when it's available? Uh, it's I think speed. I still have enough time in my life to say no. Hmm. Would you take it? With speed. With speed. Yeah. What do you think it's gonna do to you, though? I'll take it. Just. <laughs> just to prevent. All I'll, things. I'll just take it, man. I don't know. The worst that will happen is what will become zombies. Yeah, I've seen that movie before. But yeah, yeah, I saw someone say they'd rather be a zombie than be Will Smith in I Am Legend. I don't know how I feel about that. You know what? <laughs> yeah. I'd rather be Will I'd, Smith. I'd rather be a zombie I'd fan. Be. I beg, I beg. We have to hear the zombie side of the story. I'd rather be a zombie. Okay, because I saw... Okay. It's similar situation. I, there was uh, there's this clip going around about a meteor hitting the planet. Mm. Somebody's asking... What will you do if, I mean, if you're on the planet, there's nothing you can do. Extinction level event, everybody dies. Mm. But if you're the astronaut in the International Space Center, you can actually see it happen. Mm -hmm. Would you rather be on Earth when the asteroid hits or you be sat up in the ISS, in the International Space Center? You know, I like space. I like my space. Mm. (laughs) I like my own um, air, my own air pocket. Yeah, you, you get to go out on your own terms. What are your only own reason terms? why I would want to be on Earth is to do some soup. Like you finish your food now, then you go into space and freeze. Only thing I'd want to do is be some stupid, like you know, do some stupid like thriller, escape from the asteroid, drop into a Lamborghini, steal one. What Lamborghini? Like the whole fleet, the, everything will be gone. The I'm in Nigeria, so it won't play out the way I imagine it. You know, every time you watch those movies, it's always in Yankee, and they're nice cars and nice homes. Nigeria is different. Nice cars and nice homes, and you know, you can just probably enter a car somewhere and just speed race, you know. But here, there's bombs. Yeah, Lagos. So you can't even get to where Yeah, Lagos road. traffic will even let you get to the junction. Bruh. I think if you're in Lagos self, you'll be there just based on the water from Ted Midland. It will clear you. Because the impact of that water is going to carry the city over. It's going to finish it. People are saying like Lagos isn't even just going down like casually, just right now. That's what he's just saying. Like the water will just... Yeah, no, no. That that is accelerated. Yeah. Is Lagos sinking? Lagos. No, no, Lagos is not sinking. That's why it's sinking. Lekki, maybe, maybe part of VI, but not the whole of Lagos. We're just going to wait for... Definitely Lekki. <laughs> definitely so there's a point Lekki. where... Definitely, <laughs> definitely that Atlantic city <laughs> that they built. Yeah, like sinking. Yeah, they're doing, sinking. they're doing all their best to keep it... What are they just built on sand on water? It's, yeah, so obviously the sand yeah. is just going to... Uh, yeah, and it, then I don't think the drainage is uh, good enough for whatever happens every rainy season and it's not like the climate is getting any friendlier nope wow you know i would have i thought it is called what atlantic echo or echo atlantic Atlantic. there we go then so so it's going to be atlantis yeah it's just the echo atlantis at first people are getting married though man no the picture of they got they registry or something like that. I don't know. Really. Married. Yeah, but yeah, they know. They, of course, there's a backlog now. There's From a backlog. Oh, okay, there could be that. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah, also I'm a backlog to, as yeah. well. And so I'm trying to get it through within the year. I'm sure. Because there's something about certain death pandemic we're living in that just pe- makes people say, "Hmm, might as well just get this over with." Yeah, exactly. I mean, of course. I mean, first of all, like, so there was. I think it's another uh, UK podcast. Uh, earlier today and they were talking about a uh what do you call this thing? Um, survey in the uk where they were asking how many people single people have slept with their roommates or flatmates in this period oh, and they said there was a there was a rise of course of like 25 percent or thereabout you know like it doesn't make sense like Oh well, obviously, like end of the world times, you can it, yeah, sleep I with almost everybody. For, for, no, forget about it. It's not really necessarily even end of world, mm-hmm. but like you just now with someone almost like permanently. That's like, what I'm saying. It's you don't go end of the anywhere. Like, you can't go anywhere. You, you know, just sit together. You and then this shop is together. With all the helplessness yeah. around, you don't. You really can't. The emotions just, build yeah. too. Like they spend so much time with that. Person. Oh, you're so funny. I didn't know. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. You are, oh my God. Broke code out the window. Yeah. Whoa, what? Yeah, no, I mean the what? the roommate rule. The roommate rule is what is the roommate rule? Never heard this. 
I also will never practice it, but I don't know what it is. But yeah. already when you say broke it, out, it, 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 it already sounds like some broke out. It already sounds like some broke out. It was limited. Yes, yes. There we go. The broke out rule. No, what the roommate rule? What the roommate rule? Yeah, is you do not partake of the pleasures which your flatmates. Why? Because you don't want to mess up the relationship of the what house. What relationship? The dynamics we of just the house. Because what happens if you, you guys don't, uh, if we don't get along anymore? And then you continue in your room now. Continue in my room now. Yeah, but you see that creates... That creates tension. tension. Now, between who and whom? Me in my room and you in your room? Or when we, all, you saying or that? Or when we bump each other in the kitchen, we'll not be fine and fit at each other. Yes. So I, lo- I love it. <laughs> you, know, do you, know what, do you know what tension leads to? Great sex. What are you guys on about? Like, what is that guy talking about? It's not even a thing. Miss Com literally just made that thing up right now. I, I can assure I've I never heard that in my whole not. life. Emil, I've also I never slept with my flatmates. I did not. But look at, look at. Your flatmates' friends yes. are fair game. Because they leave. Yes. Yeah, yeah, because okay. They can okay. Leave. Yeah, what, what happens if your flatmate What if you now upset your what if you upset your flatmate's friend and she now goes and tells you know she's not gonna tell that oh your roommate is such a dickhead that's fine. and she'll be like that's fine. Then there'll still be tension. That's fine. There's not that much tension. No, there's not much tension. Yeah. By now your flatmate knows you're a dickhead. Okay, now you and your flatmates are oh. one. So now you guys have created a little bit of a connection. Ooh, now what happens? Now you can't bank our friends. Now what happens? You do, not only can you not have your friends. I mean, of course you, you can. What no, you can't. Of course you can. You can't. I mean, you can say. Once you bank you your can flatmates, say, you, you can't can your friends. You can say you That sh- is not entirely true. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by you? That's not entirely true. <laughs> That's not entirely true. What, what the issue is that is when you bang your flatmate, yes. any yes. other bangs you bring or any bangs they bring can be an emotional agree for you. So you have you all have to be adults. adults because well you see that's the thing being called this adult thing that yeah. we always put down. Every it's not necessarily adults, as man. accurate as we would like it to, to no, be. You just have to be man. Like be we're, not, we're not in a rela- we're not in a relationship. We just live together. Sometimes we partake of each other's bodies. Sometimes. Sometimes I partake with someone else. Sometimes you partake with someone else. Let me tell you how. For, like I'll even make it so easy for you. When you partake with someone else, I'll be like, man, I heard you guys last night. I was wild. Got me turned on. You're a. Creep. Got me really turned on. You're a bloke. I think we should be wild tonight. I should be like, yeah, yeah sure. What? Yeah. How far? That's how you write your stories. That's how it went out in my head. How far is the stories in your head? What you really need to ask is how many videos he has directed on Pornhub. Because wow, like it just created a whole oh. And you felt it, right? It made sense. I'm not sure. This guy's up to It made sense. Come on, it's very low budget. Yeah, you guys down there like X and X X or something. No problem. Naliban. Where that? Where what? What? Ooh, that, ooh, we went there. That, no. Is that a thin? No, I don't know, but Nolly Bang sounds like. I'm just saying Nolly Bang. I, hope, and I just I put Nolly Bang as. By the way, I would actually work to producing this, and I'm sure you guys would work to it. I love it. A point? Just with this storyline, yeah. And I'm sure you guys would love it. Because you guys are fake. Yeah, I mean, you, you are, are, you are, you are a big boy now. You, hey! You know, he's a big boy. Look now. at this guy. He's a director. Look now. at this guy. Director. This guy. Directed, oh in the, directed in the potential oh opening of play God. soon to come, you know. Oh Watch out. God. Yeah. But you just yeah. did that on the low. But you didn't even tell anybody. But yeah, they know yes. But yeah, they don't make they not do poster for me to do appearance in the sure a, But no, no, there are those who those who are in this kind of business, they're in okay. silence now. It's conventional about it. Uh, who 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 did the video for for um Pop star. Unbelievable. But who's in the video? Justin Bieber. Exactly. You know? We don't, we don't know anything else but that. So, you know. And I said poor or bad. Bro. Keep running, keep running. Don't, don't worry. It's all right. Keep we'll get you, Mr. Olsen. Right. You get it. Thank mm-hmm. you. Thank you. So, don't worry. I'll do that scene just for you guys. Mm. Yeah. And I'm sure and I'm sure you'd love it. Did you watch um, Mike? Oh, no, I did not. No, I did not. I did not. Did you see the knockout of Nate Robinson? Uh, ooh, I saw that. Yeah, see, that I thing. wish I would. The downfall of man is easy to watch. It that I so wish I would. It goes around so fast. Whoa, there's nothing. Very there's, fast. there's nothing. Once you are just Whoa. there. Yeah. You know, I did not know Nate Robinson was on the undercard Whoa. for that fight. I kept on looking for it. I didn't even know there was an undercard. <laughs> I I fell asleep. Yeah, I, I woke up. I actually. I saw my Twitter, and I was like, 
Okay, and then there was this uh, uh, handle I follow that tweets links to all these things. Pirate stuff. Of course. Yeah. So I click on the link, and I'm seeing my man's Nate Robinson. I'm like, this this short nigga looks familiar. <laughs> and yo. Man, that was a knockout, man. That Jake Paul. That was Jake Paul really. No, he he. But Nate Robinson really walked into that. Jake Paul, Jake Paul, really. Arms down, black man. No, he's he just looking is... facing a white man. Jake. Paul. No, but that's his first fight, right? That's, that's Paul. Na- no, Nate, no, that's, that's Nate Robinson. Robinson. That's yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But Jake, Jake Paul, Paul, this isn't his first this fight. This is his second pro fight, but he's done like a. Third. Is he his third? Yeah. Okay, man, he's also done a couple of like. Well, he's go- been going. I didn't know about him. Oh, till, Yeah, I didn't know about him until, like, I didn't care about he or his brother until I saw on Them Snapchat. No, KSI. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah KSI, KSI beat him KSI. last year or something. Yeah. I think it was a draw, too, as well. I don't no, know. No, no, no. KSI won. So I now saw the trainings on Snapchat. They were doing all the specials. I saw the trainings they were going through. And he's actually been doing more training after that. Yeah. Like he's actually going pro. Yeah. So my man's Nate come from a dunk contest, come on entering. In a dunk contest. No, nah, that knockout was crazy. I didn't I didn't really care about the whole thing anymore. Like I was really excited about it when the stories first started and all the noise and you know, they even said there was gonna be a belt. But like about a week or two a week and a half before I saw the story, I saw where they were interviewing Joe Rogan and asked him if he was aware that there were no knockouts and there yeah. were no points and oh, no, a, he laughed and was like what are they, are they being serious and he said yeah i said oh well yeah no i wasn't aware and at that point i like lost interest i'm like yeah i don't care to watch that like i, I mean i can't even get as much as you say no knockouts maybe because they are old you don't want them to go heavy especially mm-hmm. on the head or whatnot but like no points like, I, I know oh, people are there defending, saying, oh, these guys are in their 50s. And I'm like, okay, cool, fine, no problem. I mean, you have MMA fighters fighting close to 50. I don't know. I don't, I've even had Randy Couture, I think, hit 50 and is still fighting, mm-hmm. you know. So it's not impossible to do, right? And then even, like, you have, like, football exhibition matches. You have older footballers, like 60 and whatnot. And we know the matches are exhibition. No one really cares. Mm-hmm. But, like, they are not playing for a draw. You know, there's always a winner. There's, you know, there's always an end goal to. It. Let me say end goal, but like, there's a winner. So when you say there's no points, I'm like, so what's the point? So they are sparring. It's, so you want me to wait to stay up or pay to watch fifty something year old sparring? Mm. Like people watch them do that in the gym. When they were preparing. No, no, but these are these are prized people. These are not just any fifty three year olds. These are legends of the game. That's what I'm saying. So sparring. They weren't necessarily they were really fighting. Yeah, but like what, that's my point. Like I get that because I mean I've seen clips after. Yeah. But once you say there are no points, there's no knockouts, that's essentially what it is. Like yeah, I'm, I'm trying, hitting well, I'm hitting well, you, but like Well obviously because one of them is not Mike Tyson's range. So if he was to collect a real blow, he might have died. To the head, right? So no, so that's what I say. I understand. Yeah, they I understand no knockouts, yeah, right? Yeah. But like, at least have a scoring system, right? Have judges. Have there was that, but they kind of equaled out. So there was a draw. They gave them, to, and I remember, like, a, a, like a week or so before, they were talking about the belt, and they were all hyped, like him and Roy Jones. They were saying, yes, they, they like the idea of fighting for a belt. Like, you no, know, they are warriors. That belts drive them on. Because I remember for me, when I was complaining that there are too many belts in boxing, he still is complaining. Too many belts with buckets, I don't understand him. And they were attacking him. So I'm like, so at the end of the day, they give you guys a belt each. Like, what the, like, yeah, yeah, belt each kind of sounds funny. It, yeah, it's it ridiculous. Is, it is. The whole thing. Like, and I think I might the actually whole thing agree just became, with The whole thing just became ridiculous. With that. There might actually be way too way many belts. Way too many belts, yeah. Because, for example, in the heavyweight category, yeah. there are like, what, three, four belts? I think it's bo- I think because it's it's um, organizations so like yeah, WBC, w- IBF, uh, uh, WBA, WBF. WBO, mm-hmm. you know. So they <coughs> regulate all all divisions, right? So there are four belts for all, all at least them. four for all divisions, and it's like unless so like now that's why there's all this struggle trying to unify it. So 
And it's just crazy, man. But whatever. Well, fuck boxing. Whatever. Fuck boxing. Whatever. Man. Who cares? You guys watch MMA? No. I do. No, you don't. I do. Who's your take? What, what's your take on who the goat is? Definitely. Goat. MMA John fighter. John. Yeah. John Jones. You said John Jones. Popular. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You said John Jones. Okay. He's the most popular. He's gone through so many. I don't think. I don't think he's. I don't think he's the most popular. But okay. So who's your take? Who do you think is the most popular? Oh, they are much. And the silver is more popular. McGregor is more popular McGregor than John Jones. McGregor is definitely the standard. But John Jones, uh, yeah. John Jones, I think so based on him. Wait, wait, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And uh, you, you want who to do I think is yeah, the Yeah, who do you think is the guy? I don't know, man. I mean, Khabib is undefeated. Mm-hmm. Retired undefeated. Mm-hmm. 29 mm-hmm. and 0, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Izzy is coming up. Mm-hmm. But that's coming up. I think John Jones just based I like, on... I, I would agree with John Jones. Too. Because of his title defenses. Yeah. Yeah. And and also the people... That, title and also defenses? The people and the Silva went, what, five years? It, it's, not, it's not up to Jones. Jones has had the most... No, I don't think Jones has Jones the had the most title defenses. Title the defense. person after him was GSP. And GSP is still two behind him. Yeah. GSP is still two behind him. And Jones is also undefeated. The match that he lost was as a as a result yeah, of disqualification. But, but yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which, which 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 was a, which is a rule that has now I told you and changed. The silver has the record for the most consecutive UFC title defenses. I didn't say consecutive. I said title defenses. Remember, Jones lost the title, so, so title win. So Jones has fourteen, and the silver has twelve, I think. No, sorry, not silver. Sorry, um, GSP has twelve, what, uh, and the silver has what? What was his consecutive? But even Jones, Jones, ha- okay, no, he came back and he and won. Sil- silver has ten. Yeah. John Jones has five. Five what? Consecutive. Yeah, together. No, I'm talking of title defenses. No, Jones doesn't have five. He has fourteen. He, okay, this I is twenty thirteen. Yeah. I know, I know. He racked nice. up. He racked up what four last year alone. So they don't have five. Yeah, so I would definitely say yeah. he's definitely up there for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I agree with that. What do you think about him I, going going up? Oof, man, I've been watching him, man. He's Francis. bulking up. That guy is... Man, Francis Francis has that punching power, right? And and that's been... Good, but, I mean, Miochi should be Francis. You know, so he has that punching power, but Jones can avoid getting hit, right? Jones can take you to the floor, he can wrestle mm-hmm. you, he can also hit, he's also very versatile. The only thing is that we've not seen him at heavyweight, right? So, you know, bulking up and moving that extra weight might be different, but I, I they would give him the Miocic fight first anyways. He won't have to go yeah. to the Francis, you know, so that would be an interesting fight. I think, I think he can beat Miocic. <coughs> mm. I think he can beat Miocic. Well, I'm not too um, conversed on MMA. Mm. As much as I like it, I just watch the fight and then I keep it moving. Mm. So much going on. Too much going on. Khabib, I love Khabib too, man. And Khabib, Khabib. He should retire and stay man. retired, though. Because he yeah, says he's going to stay retired. Yeah. yeah. I think he's going to come back, man. I don't think so. So much money involved. He's a young boy. No, not necessarily for him. For the UFC, for Dana. Dana, what? Like, so like yeah, now, so, so so every year, every year, every year, the thing is, um, sorry, every almost every week or every day, the story is changing. His first day he's not coming back at all. Now he has said he only come back if his mother gives the blessing. Nigga, that was what he said. Yeah, that was the last thing he said like two days ago. I'm, I'm, I'm sure this is a power I'm, play. I'm anyway, sure because now they want to be offered more on your scorecard or your prize prize for a prize fight. Now you gone twenty nine and oh, you deserve some kind of money. Mm-hmm. More than what you're No, definitely. Getting. Definitely they'll pay. That's what they'll definitely yeah, pay. I'm telling you, I, I'm telling you, Dana can go and sit down in his mother's house and be living with her for like three months. <laughs> just to get her to, to, to please tell your son to I come back. Put it past Dana. You know, please tell your son to come back. Because if and if, if Dana had moved on, he definitely would have I, I think he definitely would have put the title up for the McGregor Poirier fight. Mm. I think he definitely would have done that, like, because that would have been, that would have been a big. It'll have upset a lot of other fighters, but the money oh, that will have come in from Khabib that. Khabib McGregor. No, uh, McGregor. Okay. 
would have. But no, um, if they offered the belt for the McGregor fight in January, no, it would have upset a lot of other. Yeah. But well, well, let's 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 move on from this MMA fighting and discuss the Real same shit that we see all the time. Oh, okay. Somebody else has entered world richest or second richest. Like Elon Musk now. Mm-hmm. I know Tesla is probably a good company. <laughs> but I think Elon Musk is the driving seat. It's the brand and Elon Musk attached to it. So whatever Elon Musk does mm-hmm. carries Tesla. Tesla. Yeah. That is the that's the that's the power of Tesla really. Like mm. his face. Mm. It's not only his Do you think face, that's true? His drive. Um, I mean they're obviously doing forward shit. But like He's when they say anything about Tesla, it's his face, yeah, of so course. to speak. Of course, and he has that swaggy energy that would have a bunch of people parallel to him to add more worth to that company. Yeah, what? like Bezos is, is working based on pure necessity, people need that shit. Yeah, but Musk is more like, okay, you're creating shit, people gonna need. I'm creating the future, future. yeah, but then I also have this. Cavalerous attitude and energy, and I say crazy shit. His tweets actually affect uh, <laughs> stock prices exactly. of his company, and that's hilarious. Um, Elon Musk. Yep. Yeah, but he also needs to, like he is he out of that trouble that he got into. He's always out of any of the He's trouble he gets in, into. That's into pretty and much out of trouble, bro. When you have that kind of money, there's not too much trouble that's coming your way. I mean, hell. You know that I said like I said Dangote fell from forty six richest person to one twenty something when the like devaluation happened. Possible. The Naira devaluation. Dangote, Dangote. Well, I'm sure I'm kind of settled now again, but it is, that was crazy. You'll be right. Have you guys seen Tenant? I have haven't. not. Oh, okay. I haven't. You should. Is it out in the cinema? No, no it's just out on download. <laughs> oh, <laughs> pirates be like <laughs> pirates. Is that on what, sir? It's out on download. <laughs> on download. Yeah. Pirates be like. Is that, does that sound criminalistic? <laughs> it, sounds <laughs> it sounds stressful, Raj. I know it sounds. What the fuck you mean? Out on download. It's out on download. download. Okay. Good copies. Like you won't watch it. Um, amazing copies. Oh, okay. Speaking of downloads, uh, what's the name? Warner Bros. Mm. Have vexed. They're like all the movies they didn't release this year, mm-hmm. and the movies for next year. Yeah. They are all straight going to HBO Max. Really? Shout out HBO Max. So you're gonna have to pay cinema at the same yeah. time. Oh, oh, oh so oh, they oh. are streaming. You know, usually they'll leave the streaming until after the cinema. Yeah goers have gone and obviously then they put but uh, with the climate of things now what they just rolled the dice to it like yo everything come up so you just pay and, watch, you pay and watch all of them though you have to pay for each one i'm sure so it'll be like possible. seven dollars seventy eight dollars possible then it's it's because that's smart break, that's breaking the new co- no they're opening smart they're entering the new of level people, of system that's yeah. going to happen a lot of people are not going to be i'm not going to the cinema in year in uh, not years but at least since February, and I've not considered the cinema. Yeah, and I've not at all. Time. But people are back in there, though. So. No, people are definitely back in there. I had this, we had this conversation with a bunch of people about whether people would stop going to cinema and you know just no people were just taking cinema a break, man. at home. But I, I think I think, no, I think cinema is not taking a break. Yeah, hey, I know that's what I don't. Have think you heard? Um, is, speaking of, just sorry to change the, sub- the subject so quick. Have you heard Tommy's tape? Whoop whoop. No rest for the motherfucking weekend. Being that ah! you're, being that you're also part A and Shout out, shout out, Toby O'Banner. That's the maddest EP to come out this year, man. All the songs, fucking bangers. You all need to go check it out. No rest for the weekend. Mm. Even the intro, man. Yeah, the intro great. sound, the intro sound. I like the way the intro came in. Yeah, like it just like says something, and it just went bing. That's what like, she said. What's wow, your this favorite? This guy is different. What's your favorite track? Yeah, this guy is kind of different. You notice, you yeah, notice. Yeah. It's very. What's, what's your favorite track? Um, God bless gang right now. Oh, okay. I like God bless no, gang. my favorite track it's is Melodic. Dead Man Walking. Yeah, yeah. I, I've spoken to Bucket a little bit more, but I've heard it. It's like these 
He really went in. Uh, Respect that. Big, Mario. big, big move. Shout out to Tony, man. Yeah. He even did a video, you know. Uh, Core Excalibur. Pass me the keys. Of shout the out to him. Shout out Core Core my G. Shout out Prof. Shout out Cindy. The whole 12, 12, 20 crew. Oh, are they part of it as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all. Shout out PGM, Douglas. You know, they all came through supporting good music, man. Good music. No, nah, man. Like, I'd, I'd, it came out last night, mm. and I've, I've been so busy last night to this morning, and, like, <laughs> the idiot boy called me at, like, 2 o'clock, and he's like, um, when does my tape drop? And I'm like, what are you saying? Like, it came out last night. Oh, so you are in a and you are mm. part of the world. He just finally revealed himself. He's a big boy. He just finally revealed himself. He called you. Leave him. He called him personally. He called you personally. Personally, when's my drop? Mm. Wow, so you don't want to expose... He's going to call you for the video as well. You guys are fucking stressed. So you don't, don't want to... Guy, 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 I think I'm ready to be a video business. Wow, it's time to... You want to be a video business? You didn't want to let us know that you are... I think it's time to say good night. You didn't want to let us know that you are... I was born to be a video business. How many points do you get off the tape, guys? You don't want to let us know that you have something Please to do Please don't believe them and not decide to boycott. I know they get money. Hold on, the artist releasing his music called you to ask you when is his tape dropping? Exactly. Because what? It just, it you handled the logistics he, of that? No, he was just wondering why I hadn't said anything about it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Personal, personal input. What I, had I listened wow. to it? Personal input. Oh, so you're input. this impactful. Personal this is who you are. I'm an impactful human being. Yeah, impactful human being. Raj, you know this, right? You know yeah. this. I, I know this. I see You've been you. sending me tracks, I right? I see you, man. I see exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. This is the thing, man. People out there, man, if you need a music consultant, hit me up. Okay. Hit me up. I'll tell you the truth about your music. Right. I'll tell you the truth. He's going to tell you your music is trash. If it is, <laughs> if it is, but I won't use that word because you know I care about your feelings. Yeah, he won't. He won't use trash. He's just gonna use fuck the garbage. <sighs> wow. This is why you guys. When, when did you start caring about people? This is why you guys are not music. <laughs> this is when did you start caring about people? I swear, when is it? Someone that doesn't even like Drake. He came I, out. He, <laughs> Right, yeah, drinks. He came out. He admitted he has sex. The number one hit maker. He, admitted came out, out, he actually sex. admitted he, he has sex. Admitted when? He has sex. Yes, you have. On this episode, you listen to it later. Yeah. No, that was and then, been before I came. Yeah. Okay. Also, what she wait? Oh, see, anyone could no, have no, what she said. No, you see, he's no, catching all these vibes. Catching, he's catching the vibes. Have you not closed? No. And we've not closed. I think it's bedtime. So who's licking your nipple now? <laughs> Nigga, they still COVID, man. Ain't nobody licking nobody's nipple. What are you on about? Mm, you still COVID. Lying. What does COVID have to do with nipple sucking? What? Physical, the can't you see the distance between you and I? Distance. There was always going to be distance between distance. you. Hold on, sir. There was, no, no, no. Distance. There was always going to be distance between you. <laughs> I agree. You. Regardless. Still, yeah. Distance. There was no everybody laxity ever happening. Everybody I mean, you can tell me where you've been from March to the day we met. Distance. You gotta stay. Your, your, people have been in the streets, man. Streets. Wow. Yeah. I'm glad you're confirming this. That people are in the streets. That like you're in the streets. No, I'm not. Because them, you know people. I see them on the internet. What internet? Instagram. Okay. Yeah, I see them on Instagram. All right. They all out there at Kedges, Seven, Late. You snitching? Oh. You be snitching. Moscow. Shout out to all those weekend. places. I mean, we're back to life. Tiki. Anyway. No, shout out to those places, man. Yeah. yeah. Shout out, to, shout out to people going out, man. People are courageous. People are bored. There's nothing wrong people with people. People are bored, yeah. People definitely. Are bored. Yeah, that's just what it is. I, of course. I took yeah. a walk on Aminukano yesterday yeah. and it was quite like a vibe. You took a walk? Yeah. On Aminukano? Yeah. Did you have any time From just. dreams? Did so. you have any time just pause and stand? No, I didn't want to. Get to <laughs> I see where you're going with this. I see where you're going with this. <laughs> I may have seen you. I drove by the Aminukano last night. <laughs> I didn't want to get picked up. <laughs> I don't, I don't do sales on Wednesdays. On you, go, you go there for your five to nine. Yeah, I don't, I don't do sales. I don't do any sales. Oh, on Wednesday, on, yeah, okay. On Thursdays. On Thursdays. Yeah. But if you come on a Sunday night, Woo! extra lonely. You Woo! never know. But run it up. Yeah. Twenty k dolls though. Only. I like that. Man. I feel. I feel. Um, like I drop. I, I've been driving past yeah. there, and I feel like. I feel you know, because like, I think I went to. I, like I went to Lagos. Yeah. So when I was in Lagos, everything was just like. It's different when you're in Abuja because you just have that your regime of moving about. But in Lagos, it's all goes. Or more, you need to get here. Either you come out of the cab or you start walking somewhere. Or you're just moving. So yesterday when I was just there, 
the ATM wasn't working or their POS wasn't working so at Yahoo. Let's go to the next. So then I was like, no, I'm going to go to I need to go to the ATM. So instead of getting to my car and, and then up. driving to one ATM, where did you walk to? I just took Zenith. a walk to Zenith, like from Dreams to Zenith. Okay. I went to UBA first. UBA was closed. Then I took a walk. Oh, between, so you went downstream, like I, yeah, I went to UBA, UBA and then UBA was closed. And I took a walk between some really, really beautiful women. I was yeah, just standing yeah. no, I was, I was on the saying, street. Like, I feel observing. like I feel like they, they were just standing on the street. Sometimes like in traffic. Yeah, in like really dark places. Sometimes. I feel like, and I feel I was like, like after the lockdown, like the standard, had, like. Up a bit. The standard. Yeah. My G. <laughs> my G. <laughs> Whoa. My G. That's what? Funny. Yeah. You tell us what. Yeah, what are you saying? Like... They who were looking like what? The ladies on the street. Oh, the ones that are just walking around. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, okay. My G. My G. Out here. No. Are you G, sure? My G. Out here. Because you notice them. Full yeah. Points. You saw their faces. Yeah. Bright lights. Bright lights. Ah, the ones. That, ah, Ooh, do you know what? This so guy actually really quality like control for five to nine, yeah. Do you have you heard the the weekend blinding lights? Yeah, back then, mm-hmm. but I haven't heard it again since. What Circles by then? Post Malone. It's it back then. Blinding lights is not a new song. It's from his album now. Yeah. When when did the song come out? Wow, wow. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. Welcome oh. though. See, he's a new leaf. <laughs> blinding lights. Things are changing. Oh. Happy for mm-hmm. you, fam. But yeah, so I mean, I took a walk through Aminukano and really like, I, I saw things. I saw like energetic women, men, just everyone, just just energetic. It was it was quite a, it was just a nice walk. I'm just like, you know, and I just realized how Nigeria is so fucked up, messed up in the way that if you're walking daytime or something like that, it's, look, it's almost looked down upon like this person is walking. Yeah. You know, yeah. if people see it, they'd be like, hmm, this one is walking, so far ahead, all those things. We don't actually have too much culture. Yeah, the sun is plenty. In, in fact, the, the sun is plenty too. What the f- I won't lie, Sha. Because you won't do, you wouldn't walk in the sun to go and meet someone that you have a date with or something. It's dangerous. Yeah, you it's might, quite dangerous. You might, never, you might never, you might never get them again. You might never get them again. But then, such is life. Well, it's a Friday night, yeah, and we are moving. Have you guys tried Clubhouse? I, I heard haven't. about that thing today. What is that? Yeah, open. Well, you I, need to be invited. Have it, don't you? Yeah, I was. I I, I got in is yesterday. It, it's really nice. just an iPhone thing. It's not an iPhone thing. It's, oh, it's oh, not? no. Oh, yeah. But it's really interesting. It's more than. It's like really good. I'm not going to lie. It's probably one of the most impactful social media sites that will be coming up in the future because you'll have access to execs and stuff like i'm part of a group that has um the owner of distro kid the directors of maybe spotify and all them mm-hmm. and then they like really just talk and but you can talk about everything there are different points there are groups for consent groups and you can just join listen and if you have something to say you can raise your hand or something and people will add you to talk hear what you have to say so it's a really strong meeting point like I'm, I haven't said anything, and I'm getting followed. So you know, oh, Oprah is on it. I do. Trust, look, they're all on it. I, I, I was, I was on an IG live today, and like they were talking. See, about this it. is um, look, this is the Jay Z Appreciation Hour. Look at this. This is DJ Drama. That's Jermaine Dupri. That's just Bla- that's just Blaze. Be a backwards. That's actually a porn star. I don't know why I know that, but um, she's also <laughs> there. There's DJ Scratch. There's you know, there's a whole bunch of people. And I think if I open it right now. Okay, look at this. No, don't open this it. This is Mace it. talking. This no, is it's this supposed to be Mace. Thank you. It's me. No, no, no. Let me show you. No, no. Why do you know Bria backwards? Bria backwards? Because backwards. Oh. From church. So. From church. So you just hear people's voices? Yes. Is that Jay Z talk? That almost sounds like Jay Z. So, it's really a. Uh, so you can just like put on your mic and talk to? Yeah, yeah. So we can just join them? Yeah. Oh. And then meet people. It's, it's, it's contacting. <laughs> right when I was on it, I saw someone that was trying to get his music out and then he explained his story and all that. And then the people were like, yo, send us your stuff. So contact us, follow us, and then keep on. So you can really communicate and connect so if your presentation is really strong. The, uh, what do they call this thing? Where you're just a few phone calls from yeah. the next person. It's almost it's as good as LinkedIn and then on a double standard, like you really can actually just talk to the person that you're trying to get across to if you can if they're willing to listen. Mm. So it, it breaks barriers and um you know, the future is changing. 
Um, last point, guys. I don't know how strong are you guys on the idea of cryptocurrency? What's that about? You guys ever bought any crypto? You know anything? Not about yet, but I feel like I'm a fool for not having bought it a while back. Mm. I invested in some crypto some time back. Good for you. Are you catching up? I didn't even. I just put money to try it. So I put five k. I mean, it, I can imagine if I put a substantial amount, mm-hmm. what it would have gone. But it was nine k now, ten k. That's appreciation. That's appreciation more than I have had. There's an account where I have like. Is it diamond access? It has to be diamond no, no, access. No. There's an account. It's been I think it might be. Where I put money inside. And the money is reducing. No, it's increasing, but I mean, it's not even increased at that rate to anything. So it's like, bro, it's coming. The new market is coming. There's going to be a time where money is not going to really, like money is always going to have its factor. But cryptocurrency, look at Bitcoin for fuck's sake. So there is it, that next generation of the next world that we're going to, which is not going to be now, maybe 20, 10 to 20 years from now, it's going to be totally different and individualistic based on your own person. It's not going to be regulated because if you look now, we're moving into self-regulation of all things, our content, our communications, which means that financial is not different. Even cannabis is going to be like, look at how cannabis has moved. And cannabis is even unfair because think of all the people that went to jail. Now they are even trying to turn it into full on business. But um, yeah, so crypto is really, I mean, maybe it's just what I saw from putting 5k <laughs> and then seeing 9k, 10k. No, because I bought Bitcoin for 5k. I mean, Bitcoin can't rise that high anymore, but it's yeah. 6k. It yeah. moved up to 6k. So, but that's what I'm saying. Like the appreciation is there, so there's actually yeah, a place to put that the money market is. It's great losses, great wins, and great losses. Yeah. Because okay, for example, on Friday mm. last week, I saw. Was it on Friday or Monday? Mm. I saw how easy it was for the dollar. Mm-hmm. To appreciate and depreciate. depreciate yeah. You know, we're busy complaining dollar is 500, 500, 500. Yes. CBN dropped one circular. Yes. And in front of me, mm-hmm. that thing dropped like the Titanic. What circular is that? Uh, they dropped a circular um, allowing people to withdraw because there was a time they, they restricted, acu- yeah. uh, restricted accounts. Then they also pumped in dollars into the market to be able to stabilize it so well this drop though is artificial because honestly it's going to rise back up it's going to rise back up well that's good then i think that was a good one guys fuck the cbn they're still out there blocking yeah messy fuck messy yeah um fuck anybody against forwardness and the progression of the nigerian people Fuck my basically um can't wait for joe biden to get into office oh uh, yeah Uncle joe. why mm. because i just need trump out first <laughs> listen that's all trump don't first give a fuck. <laughs> first and then we can do that but um yeah that so is uncle. yeah uh, thank you listen listeners youtube and non listeners wherever you are um it's been real thank you for listening to accidental discharge see you again next week we holla from the porn acting of and direct captain awesome we say good night and good luck come again (laughs) that's what she said thank you for watching accidental discharge